Also no, I can't pretend My brother said that I don't change And I won't be the same again I made a promise to my mom to get a beamer For all the times that I don't miss That I ain't seen her I told my girl well, I'm in course they in the bleachers I know they die But watch I turn them to believers Make them believers I know that fun nigga hate But everybody know his bitch won't fuck me I don't even know how he feel like What's up, y'all? What's goody? 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 It's your girl ZZ back with another with another motherfucking video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications bell, give this shit a thumbs up, share this motherfucker, all that shit, all that shit, all that shit, all that shit. Okay. All right. So today's video is going to be black men do not deserve a strong woman and i really wanted to say a strong black woman more specifically because i don't want really to give a damn about them day nobody else <laughs> to be completely honest black women is my only focus black men the black community is my only focus should i say so yeah this video came about because there's a, re a recent video that's kind of went viral um that i seen of this pregnant woman um this pregnant woman getting basically, I'm not really sure what the, the backstory is, but she was basically getting harassed from what it looked like from this fuck ass mall cop. And y'all didn't even notice that in the video, this fuck ass mall cop pepper sprays the little girl. Like, I didn't even realize that's when I'm going back and watching this video, but he pepper sprays the little girl. She walks off crying if you pay attention. Oh. And I'm not gonna put the sound on this, but if Watch you look closely, right here, right before you pepper sprays her, the little girl, when she walks off crying, hold on, she's about to do it right now. When she walks off crying, it's because she's got pepper sprayed. And she's the mother is saying that, like, you pepper spray my little girl, you pepper spray my little girl. And so she's trying to get to her daughter. And even when the fuck ass cop walks over here like he is, he's not even doing anything to really neutralize the situation. He's still letting the bitch ass mall cop attack her and not even cover her fucking child. The little girl's standing there crying, cover her fucking eyes because she got fucking pepper sprayed. Yo, this shit is wicked, son. This fucking stupid ass white boy mall cap. Um, and who, who obviously takes the damn job too seriously. I ain't never seen no damn mall cop. Like, whatever. Anyway, racist. It was some racist shit, really, really. But anyway, so she was basically harassing this black woman. And uh, I'm not sure if the guy was like her husband, boyfriend, friend, brother, cousin, whatever the case may be. But this dude, and mind you, both of these people are black, and her daughter's with her as well. Her daughter looked like she was about five, maybe five or six. She was young, you know what I'm saying? And this woman is obviously pregnant. Like, she's literally, like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, he says in the video that she's pregnant, and I think she says it too. But, like, you don't even have to say it. Like, she looks pregnant. Like, she's big. She looks like she's at least, like, six, seven months. Like, she's... She obviously looks pregnant, like dead ass. You know what I'm saying? So, but like I said, I don't know what the backdrop, what the backstory is for this video. All I know is he's basically trying to kind of attack her, and looks like maybe like handcuff her or something like that, trying to restrain her in some way. But just doing it very aggressively, especially seeing as she's a woman, one, but also a pregnant woman at that more specifically, which is just like, what the? Why did you feel the need to use so much force? Oh, I know because you're a racist bitch ass nigga. But anyways, um. What I really got mad at was not only that, but how this black man in the situation was handling the situation at hand. Like, what he was doing. What role he played in this situation. Now, um, the person who posted this was Tarp Nasheed. Shout out to him because I fuck with Tarp. I mean, that, that's my nigga Loki. I can't even say it. I, I fuck with like, all that nigga videos. So anyways, and I follow him on Instagram. So he was the one who posted this. He posted a lot of shit. He posted a lot of shit like that. Which is why I follow him on Instagram. And, um, yeah, so he posted this, and I loved what he put in the caption. The caption was really, you know, what kind of inspired me to do the video. So it was like, damn, like, you know what I'm saying? It kind of made me want to branch over. Well, let me not take the credit from the person who actually dropped and gave me the damn video idea. So let me not motherfucking take his credit away. But one of the points he made was, you know, when, when, uh, when something like this occurs, you know what I'm saying, the black man should always, or the man should always, um, put the attention on himself. Should always make himself the threat. That way, the woman is not seen as a threat, and he'll the the part the attacker will turn their attention to 
the man, you know what I'm saying, to the actual threat, quote unquote, instead of the woman, you know what I'm saying, to kind of save her and sacrifice herself. And that was basically what he said in, in, in one of his points in the comment. And so in the video, the black man is literally like, like, he's not really breaking it up. Like, he's like, I mean, he's like, he's like passively kind of breaking it up. Like, no, she's pregnant, don't touch her. Like, he's like stepping in between them, but he's not being aggressive towards him. Like, he, like, the attacker is being towards the woman. Like, instead of him pushing that nigga down on the floor, you know what I'm saying? Like, stealing that nigga or some shit. This nigga's just like, no, please. Like, he got, like, food or, like, a drink and, like, I don't know, something else in, like, a bag in his hand. Instead of him putting that down and throwing his shit up, like, yo, get the, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, because it gets to a point where even he gets the chance to mace her. Like, he gets that close to mace the fucking woman. Like, that nigga should have been knocked out and even prior to, he shouldn't even got a chance to pull that shit out because he should have been knocked the fuck out on the floor. You know what I'm saying? But... So yeah, that was my real problem with the video is that the black man is standing there. I mean, is is really like not doing the most he can do. You know what I'm saying? To be what's going on. Mind you, this dude is out of shape. You know what I'm saying? Kind of fat. You know what I'm saying? That kind of, he is fat. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like being a bitch about it, honestly. Like he's not, you know what I'm saying? Doing something that a strong black man, handling, handling it in a way that a strong black man should have handled it. And so that's kind of, where I wanted to branch off from for this video is that, you know, because this is, isn't the only video, and I've talked about this inside the Willie Lynch letter, uh, what's going on, this is, this video kind of correlates with that video, so if you want to watch that, go watch that, leave a, uh, a link in the bio, I mean in the description, but um, yeah, so in, in the Willie Lynch letter, I kind of talk about how um, throughout slavery and throughout systematic, uh, systematic oppression, systematic racism, we as black people have kind of been broken down to make our women stronger and our men weak to, to kind of replace the head of the household with the man i mean with the woman instead of the man you know what i'm saying so basically reversed our roles they basically kind of uh psychologically psychologically made us reverse our roles for the most part in our society so which is why you have you know what i'm saying i talk about this in a video like i said uh so many videos with black men hitting hitting black women or uh just allowing disrespect or uh, abuse to happen to a black woman around you and not doing anything about it except record. There's an overwhelming amount of bitch ass niggas. Like that ass. Like there's an overwhelming amount of bitch ass niggas in our fucking society. And it's so <gasps> sickening, my nigga. That shit is sickening as fuck. Like I, I'm, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't fuck with y'all niggas. I really can't. You know what I'm saying? And although I understand the oppression, the psychological warfare that we have gone through, like, my niggas, y'all gotta get y'all shit together, like, that ass. You know what I'm saying? Because at this point, we are in a state, and have been, you know what I'm saying, a state of war for a long fucking time. So we have to literally reprogram ourselves, or should I say black men, y'all have to literally reprogram yourselves to get in a militant state of mind. You know what I'm saying? To get in a state of fucking war because niggas is out here literally killing us you know what i'm saying this even this the other um i'm sorry it was a, the other day it was just another video of a black woman getting uh harassed by a police officer you know what i'm saying by uh yeah by a police officer i pray she was i don't know if she was pregnant or not um i heard that she was just saying she was pregnant for the sake of like sympathy and she got killed actually she wasn't even harassed and she got killed she got shot and killed by a police officer and uh I don't know if she was pregnant or not, but I did hear that she was just saying she was pregnant for, for like, to, to try to get sympathy from the officer. And he said, I don't give a fuck. and still shot her ass, basically. And, but that just shows where the respect level, respect level is, respect level is with these, um, basically fucking terrorists is really what the, really what the fuck they are. You know what I'm saying? Um, these white supremacist terrorists that, that, that are attacking our community. It's because they have laws, they're to a point where they know black men are not going to do anything they know that black women are very vulnerable um and we are not protected you know what i'm saying i know this whole it's, it's this whole feminism bullshit going on like we're equal and all some shit and at the end of the day we all know or we should know black men or men in general you know what i'm saying for any race are your protectors that's just how the fuck it is you know what i'm saying that is how it's been since the beginning of the time that's just how we are body biologically it's one of the reasons why Really, the main reason why, shit, <laughs> they are born more muscular than we are, physically, just physically more advanced than, than fucking women are, because they are meant to do that. They are meant to, to protect us in that way. If we don't have that, like, the whole community kind of comes to a crumble because it's, or it's left not only women, but also children 
fucking vulnerable. Everybody has realized the black community don't got no fucking respect. Like, we can do what the fuck that we want to them because shit. They ain't got nobody protecting them. They black men ain't doing shit about it. Like, why the fuck that? And we getting off from it. So why, who the fuck cares? Like, you know what I'm saying? We killing niggas getting, getting off. Like, what the fuck? Fuck is the big deal. In this 21st century time that we're in, this this highly technological advanced type fucking time that we're in right now, you know what I'm saying? A lot of black men are really falling into the trap of just, you know what I'm saying? Just uh just recording, you know, like like it's like it's that's the most they can do type shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I understand that some black men, it's become kind of like a defense mechanism of like Oh, well, if I do, it's damn if you do, damn if you don't. If I don't do something, I'm a bitch. If I do do something, I can get killed. You know what I'm saying? That's how most of them feel. When they really shouldn't feel like that, it should be like, if I don't do something, I'm, I'm a bitch, for sure. You know what I'm saying? But if I do do something, at least I'm doing it for the better of my community. I'm sacrificing myself, and I get killed. At least I'm doing it for the better of my community. At least I'm gaining more respect for my community, and I'm protecting my community. That's how they should be looking at it. Like, there's so many young niggas that's afraid to die, and that's a terrible fear to have you should not be you know what I'm saying you should not be afraid of death you shouldn't especially as a man especially as a fucking man you should not be afraid of that you know what I'm saying because it's going to happen anyways and if you a man especially you can walk around like a fucking coward I talked about this in the Nip Stephen Hustle video you're going to be walking around like a fucking coward if you are afraid to die it's just simple as that you know what I'm saying you cannot in a militant state of state of thinking you cannot be afraid of that soldiers who go to war are not fucking afraid to die. They know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, as a black person in general, especially as a black man, you should be ready to go to war at any point. You know what I'm saying? At any fucking point. At any fucking point. Which is why I think all black people should have a fucking gun license and should be getting a motherfucking gun. But yeah, and that's another reason why black men should be working out, should be healthy, should take their, their health seriously because... You already got a whole rack of attacks on the black community as far as health goes anyways, you know what I'm saying? And psychological warfare, a whole rack of other shit that's coming against us that we have to be, we have to prepare 10 times more for than anybody else. Matter of fact, I was on Twitter and uh, I think I talked about, I think I said this on my live or some shit, but I was on Twitter and somebody had tweeted, uh, had tweeted something, it was a video of somebody getting harassed. It was like this video of, these girls, uh, like, I don't know what was going on. I don't know what the backstory for this for this video was either, but it looked like it was at like some type of fair or carnival or something. And one of the girls, uh, I don't know if they was in a fight or whatever, but one of them was getting arrested. And the officer that was arresting her, or the officers, I think it was like two of them, um, that was arresting her was kind of being a little rough. They had her thrown her on the ground and like her face was on the ground and like I think they had like a knee in her back or something like that. But I guess it was her friends who felt like they were just being too aggressive. And like I think like two, one or two of the friends like jumped on the officer like, yo, get the fuck off her. You know what I'm saying? And mind you, there's a group of people standing around while this is happening. Men, black men included within this fucking group. And yet only two or three black women jump in to help this young girl. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what? Are you fucking serious? And then everybody runs off when uh, when, the, when when the police officers pull out some fucking mace. Everybody, everybody runs off and let these other two young girls get get arrested on the case. Maybe I'm like, yo, first of all, the black girl, the black girl shouldn't even had to jump in that. Niggas should have been on that on site. Niggas should have been like. It should, this should be like, yo, no, 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 we got this. Stay, stay to the side. We got this. Jump in. Even when the mace came, it should have been like, knock that shit out of his hand. Do what you got to do. Like, handle your bitch. You can't be afraid. Like, that's the problem. You think just because you got a mask? Like, so what? Some of us going to have to go to jail. Some of y'all niggas going to have to go to jail. Some of y'all niggas going to have to die in order for this shit to, to in order for us to progress. Like, that's just how the fuck it's going to work. Like, it just is what it is. Cowardness, cowardliness is not going to get us anywhere. Cowardly mentality is not going to get us anywhere. It has not. To go back to to a time, to so like civil civil rights times and shit like this. Even even when Dr. King was marching peacefully, you know what I'm saying? Those people were fearless. Like uh, especially in that time, they could have got shot the fuck up. Like that ass. You had protests that was going on. People was getting motherfucking hose down, dogs been uh, getting on them, motherfucking beat the hell up by police, all types of shit. These people, you had women, uh, you had men and even women out there at these, at, the, at these protests being real active is really trying to make a change, really doing that motherfucker. Like, 
that ass. Back to the video. I kind of started gotten straight off before I could say what I was about to say. The video though, on Twitter. <laughs> the video on Twitter. This dude had, uh, I think he quoted or he added it, one or two. But he said, if somebody stands around while someone else, uh, while someone, if somebody stands around in a group of people, no, 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 he said, um, if it's a group of people and someone gets harassed by the police and the group of people just stands there instead of helping them, they some pussies. I ain't see nothing wrong with that. Oh, shit, you got that right. Y'all lost some pussies. Honestly, you ain't gonna do shit about it. Like, especially if y'all some niggas. Like, y'all some bitches. Like, that's basically what he's saying. Y'all some bitches. And I don't see nothing wrong with that. I see nothing wrong with that. You can't even speak up. You a whole bitch. But somebody I knew had, had added it and was like, yeah, you know, well, jumping in isn't really going to do anything but land you in jail or like trying to trying to fight the police. Bas basically along the lines of trying to fight the police is not going to do anything but land you in jail. But if you record, you can fight it in court. You know what I'm saying? Which is, and that's, that's a, I don't like that way of thinking either, to be completely honest with you. Because you can say that you can fight it in court, but look at the million, I mean, not million, let me say not say millions, but look at the hundreds of thousands of court cases of that black people lost who were totally in the right. Like, literally, you know what I'm saying? Like, you you know how many cases that black people were totally in the right, that, to, that were totally, black people were totally, uh, did not have any drugs on them, or were not aggressive, or were not resisting, or did not have any weapons, whatever the case may be, and still were shot and killed, and still went to court, and went to jail for it, and still went to court, and still lost, and still, uh, and still was, uh, found guilty during the trial, like, so just saying, oh, we're trying to fight in the court, it's like, you act like you're still not dealing with white supremacy when you go to court, hello, who's nine times out of ten going to be a judge, a white male, like, I mean, come on. So you got to really think about, oh, a white woman. You know what I'm saying? The chances of you and a, a black judge or a black male judge, I mean, a black a black male or a female judge, it's slim, my nigga. Dep especially depending on, on what city you in. My nigga, you live in a rural area or like Midwest where there's not a lot of black people and shit. You're definitely getting a motherfucking white, a white judge and probably a racist ass one at that. So you're still fighting white supremacy, but now you're just doing it the longer drawn out way. And that's not really going to get you anywhere because the police officer is not going to get any punishment from it. You know what I'm saying? Even with the cases that black people have won where they, were, where they weren't found guilty or some shit like that, police officers were still let off, were still transferred, were still kept their jobs, were still had paid leave. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, are we really, really fighting something in that way? Are we really still fighting? If we just take it to court, is that really, do you really think that's the, the most effective way when niggas really been doing that shit and we, this shit is still happening? You know what I'm saying? So no, I don't agree with that. I, don't, I, I didn't agree with that. And I was like, you know what? I don't see nothing wrong with doing both. You know what I'm saying? Like, why don't you do both? Why can't the woman record and the black man set up and do something about it? Like, seriously, you know what I'm saying? Like, you have to, you you cannot be to a point where you're scared to put your life in the line. You have to do that. When you're going up against these race soldiers, when you're going up against, uh, when you're going up against white supremacists, you know what I'm saying, whether they have a badge or not, their sympathy level is none with us. Their cut cards is none with us. They have no type of empathy anything for us. You know what I'm saying? They're going to do what the fuck they got to do that they feel is right. And being passive about it, I, it, it's just not going to do anything. In that moment, would you rather have this pregnant woman? You know what I'm saying? Had that black man been thinking about that, even though he didn't, like I said, do what he should have done, in my opinion, even in that video, like, had he stepped to the side and let this fucking bitch-ass cop attack her, and she would have had a mis- Imagine if she would have had a miscarriage or something else, like something worse. She could have, she could, he could have choked her or, you know what I'm saying? Something worse could have happened. And he's like, you know what? But his mindset on the, uh, is the whole time, oh, you know what? I'm going to record so I can fight this in court. I'm going to get this evidence so in court. But by then, she's dead. By then, the baby has died. But by then, the little girl is already traumatized from seeing her mother get harassed by this man. And you standing to the side recording. So in her mind, she's already, she's already building a, a bad concept of bad. That little girl's already building a bad concept of black men in her mind. Like, wow, bad men is not supposed to, black women supposed to fight and black men is not? She's so, you passing that on. That's generational right there. Now you passing that on to the little girl. So, 
No, you don't say no. Like no, it, that's that's there's a time and a place. Maybe sometimes you're supposed to record if it's not if it's not an aggressive situation like that. If a, if a police officer is just trying to tell you something wrong, it's a, it's a stop. You in a traffic. You know what I'm saying? Like certain situations, yes, I can understand that. But in a situation like that. Even the one that we was talking about on Twitter with the girls, I'm like, no, niggas should have jumped on that. Like, especially because black women was involved. Fuck the mace. What the fuck? Like, it's one of this nigga one man. He telling me two of y'all couldn't take the, take the mace from him? Three, four of y'all couldn't take the mace from him? Get out of here. Like, that's crazy. What was he going to do? You know what I'm saying? Even if he do shoot you, even if he do, you got to go through what the fuck you got to go through. You a soldier. You know, all black men are not like this so there's a lot of strong ass black men out here doing the right thing and trying to wake other other black men up to doing the right thing you know what i'm saying but at the same time like you can't expect to get a strong woman like this man you can't expect like i refuse to be with a man who does who cannot re protect me i refuse i'd rather be motherfucking alone shit i'm damn near alone if you ain't gonna do shit the fuck I'm like nigga, you can't protect me. We, I can't, I cannot be with you. Like that's why physical appearance does kind of matter to a certain extent because nigga, you gotta be able to fight. Like real shit, I can't be with you. You one twenty, you one hundred and ten pounds. Shit, smaller than me, short as hell. Like what do you want to do for me, my nigga? I'm sorry. Like that ass, I could probably fight a nigga better than you can. Like I probably, you know what I'm saying? Or even if you five hundred pounds, you know what I'm saying? Six feet tall, obese. You know what I'm saying? Can barely motherfucking run. Can barely walk fast without getting out of breath. Like, what do you want to do for me, my nigga? I'm sorry. Not in this, not in this state. Hell to the null. Maybe if it was, if it was all peaches and oranges and shit, and shit was straight, you, I, I would be able to do it. Looks to a matter of my nigga. Hell no. You got to be some type of fit to be with my ass. Because nigga, if shit get real, I need your ass to get realer real quick. Do you feel me? Anybody who comes to disrespect me, who comes to attack out me or our family. I expect you to do something about it. You're going to be, be the person I look to. At first, it was my daddy. Now it's you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, the fuck you? I'm grown now, so that was you. Like, nigga, you, you, you got to do what the fuck you got to do. A lot of black men feel like that's a burden or feel like they just, they shouldn't have to accept that aspect of being a man, but it just, it comes with it. Like, it just fucking comes with it, my nigga. If you want to call yourself a real nigga, you can call yourself a man. That include like, it's just, it's part of the fucking package. You cannot, you you got to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? Even for yourself. Like, and it's, it's bad because a lot of black men can be very, like, false advertising-ish. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got a lot of the tough guys. The real niggas. The hard niggas. The thugs. The gangsters. Whatever the fuck. That act like they so tough. Act like they so gangster. <laughs> they said so. They were real niggas. Until they get inside of a room with an actual real nigga. Like, until shit actually get real. When, when... They, they real nigga up until it's time to, to be a real nigga. Like, real shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of niggas like that. Talk that talk. Act like they walk that walk. And then when shit come down to it, you crying like a bitch. Or you running away like a little ass boy. Like, I can't, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of men like that. They get in situations like that. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to their friends. and It even goes down to that when it comes, comes to these niggas' friends. You know what I'm saying? Because you have... Like, alpha, you, whenever in a group, in a group of males, you're always going to have an alpha male. You're always going to have the one, you're always going to have the alpha male, you're going to have the in-between, like the pack. And you're going to have the nigga that everybody kind of bitch, that everybody know is like, you know what I'm saying? And so that's a good thing. With Matter of fact, ladies, when you get with a nigga, hang around your niggas to see who, to see who it is. Because they going to, his niggas will tell you without telling you, like real shit. If he the nigga, when y'all come around... They be like, what's up, bitch? Oh, you ain't gonna do shit. Fuck out of here. Like, even if they playing. And this is what this is what they this is the rhetoric that they have towards him. And only him, or mainly him. You know what I'm saying? They might have that towards each other, but it's not it's not as bad as it is when everybody when it ever because everybody does the name. It's not as bad. You know what I'm saying? But when it pay attention to that. If he's in the room with a bunch of niggas and he's the one that everybody's taking the least serious, nobody's listening to. Nobody, you know what I'm saying, really dapping up. Nobody, or everybody's kind of bitching. Everybody kind of making fun of whatever the case may be. That's the nigga you don't want to be with. Real shit. That is the nigga you don't want to be with. Because a nigga that's respected, even a nigga who's not even friends with a nigga. Because niggas know. It's just like a, when you are when you have an alpha male, it's just an aura, a demeanor that they put off. Like, niggas can just tell. Just like with dogs. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I mean, I don't want to compare them to dogs. But it's like any, with any other animal, you know what I'm saying? With, with any animal, should I say. You just know who the leader of the pack is. You know. And you know if you try them, you got to, if you don't know, you will find out the motherfucking hard way who the leader of the pack is. You know what I'm saying? Who the alpha male is. But you know, you know who the dominant, they usually know who the dominant one is. So if you come around and you nigga, 
You know what I'm saying? All the niggas dapping them up, everybody respecting them. What's good, G? What's good? Da -da -da. What's good, big bro? What's good? You know what I'm saying? Da -da -da. So altercation happened. He said, yo, chill the fuck out. Everybody stop. Everybody shut up. Then you know you got the big dog. You know you got the alpha male. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you need to stop with him. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be the nigga that probably going to protect you because that's the one that everybody's respected. You know what I'm saying? So you got to pay attention to that because niggas will. Be, I, I've seen it. Like, <laughs> I have literally seen shit like this when niggas become straight bitches in front of their bitch. Like, and I be like, damn, like, that's your nigga? That's that nigga Lexus? Like, you should probably dump that nigga as soon as possible. Like, real shit. So he can mad the fuck up. And then, you know what I'm saying? Like, but shit, yeah, avoid those niggas because they really will. Like, if you don't, if you don't peep the signs beforehand, beforehand when it comes, when it escalates to that situation, because the situation is going to come. It's going to come. Like, trust me. The situation is going to come to hand. Where he's going to need to protect you. Or he's going to need to protect himself. Or just prove himself at some point. You know what I'm saying? Prove himself to some extent. And you're going to have... You're going to see for... You're going to see him for what he really is. So, it's your decision to see that at our only on stage. When it's not that serious. Or for you to see that when it's a, a, a point where it needs to be done. And it's in front of everybody. And it's embarrassing for you. And embarrassing for him. And you're like, oh shit, I should have been broke up with this nigga. You know what I'm saying? When such and such happened. So, yeah, you gotta pick that shit like that ass. You know what I'm saying? And niggas, if you don't know, touch that shit. Like, real shit. You know what I'm saying? If you the, if you the nigga in the group, if you don't know if you the bitch or not. <laughs> Which most niggas with the bitch, they know. Like... They know, you know who you are, cause you know how you know what to, what to say to certain people. You know how to move. You know what I'm saying. You you certain shit you let slide because you're what you call it. Now there's some. I don't want that to get confused with like a dude who just who's not egotistical, cause you have dudes who are just um laid back, who are cool. You know what I'm saying. Who might let some stuff slide. You know what I'm saying to like who are kind of passive and shit like that, but. If you get up in their face, they knock you the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? So don't get it confused with the with the quiet dude. Because a lot of times the quiet dude is a dude that knock your ass the fuck out too. Who who's an alpha male as well? You know what I'm saying? He's just not pressed to be the leader of the pack, but he's definitely still out. He's still dominant. He's still like, I ain't no bitch. Ain't nobody. Like, I'm gonna do what the fuck I wanna do. Type type nigga. You know what I'm saying? He just don't gotta say it or you know what I'm saying? Like put advertise it or put it out there. You know what I'm saying? Do the most so everybody can know that. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of the times. That nigga, the nigga that's, that's saying this acting all hard, like, yo, none of these niggas, are, man, all these niggas are bitches, dog, man. I shoot all these niggas, man. These niggas ain't gonna do shit, man. These niggas, man, I slap your ass in the... The nigga that talk the most shit that be running his mouth amongst, like, uh, if he's not just cocky, if he can't fight, I mean, some of those niggas can't fight, they're just cocky, they got big heads, and just uh, ain't got their asshole by the right person to kind of humble themselves, yeah. But they can still fight, they ain't no bitches. But a lot of the times, them niggas will be the same niggas that's like, um bitches like that ass you know what i'm saying those would be the same niggas that'd be like act like little pip squeaks beep, 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 beep. soon as a, a big a nigga that's bigger than them or a nigga that's older than them or a nigga that, that, that just looks more intimidating steps in the room they'll be the nigga that get quiet then they then they not saying all that so yeah bro y'all just let me know what y'all think in the comments um do you think black men are deserve a strong woman do you think women, black women, are becoming the more dominant ones in strong men? Do you think black women, the roles are really being reversed out of this motherfucker? We becoming the protective. We becoming the head of households. You know what I'm saying? All that good shit. Y'all let me know in the motherfucking comments what y'all think. Other than that, that's all I got. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn on my notification bell. Shit this motherfucker. All that shit, all that shit, all that shit. Yeah. All right, y'all. Busting through the door here in Beverly. You know I'm doing good, bitch, I'm doing great. Black people time, yeah, I'm running late You need two masks, cause your ass is so two-faced Probably need it somewhere else, never need it no one else I can't help you, gotta face something